That yeah, stuff gets bags. real in this. You can put my book here near my bag. People kill themselves over stuff like this. It's not good. She covered up her mirror. This is not good at all. Ouch. She left out amnation. Wow. That is the oh, cutest <laughs> bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. <laughs> kind of disturbing looking in this game engine, but whatever. And what do we got here? I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. We're learning a lot, snooping. And... So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Uh... If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Well, damn it. I don't think going to the police is a very good idea. They've been horribly unresponsive job, and terrible. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Hmm. Do I... I really need to stick with that. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Well, let's, let's see if we can do this slightly differently. I don't think there's really a different option. Nah, there really isn't, is there? We had that bad experience with the cops. Well, not the cops, but the uh, the principal already. I don't think it's a good idea. So what the hell do I need to do now? I guess. Oh yeah, I'm on my way to that. <laughs> All right, let's go get breakfast. Hey Brooke, who the hell Here's are you? Brooke. Looking smarter than everybody. Are you the one who's always reading? I think she's the one who's always reading. Pretty atmospheric. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning. For food, I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> so, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? 
Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. You're an interesting guy. Alright. Now, before we go anywhere, just want to see how we're doing for photographs here. That one's going to be at the whale thing, some sort of dog bone. What the hell is that thing? Is it a slug or something? Hmm. Interesting going on over here. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Is there a point in having a better conversation with you? Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Uh, I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What What happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Well, that could be handy. Seems like it's a good idea to not hate everybody. What is going on now? God, these people. Oh, the football's still here. That's kind of interesting. Butterflies. Food waste. Who Use? The Kraken? Come on, oh. girl. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. This is going to be one of the pictures, I think. There was a donut. I better not get near the bench, or the squirrel won't take the food. Come on, little squirrel friend. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Yay! Let us go to the diner, I guess. Ooh, I like that rare achievement noise. It's fun. Alright. Oh, God, Warren. It's over you? here! Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking weep. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I, I will no, not go on a date with you. I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. Hey, you can go ape yourself all you want, buddy. It's... 
Alrighty, off to the diner, I suppose. Or maybe the football field, I don't know. Is that Nathan Prescott talking to that cop? David talking to Nathan cannot yeah. be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Why do they have a what kind of a crazy academy thing? I guess it's a boarding school is what it must be because but people seem like they're like 18 or 19. Like I think she said she was 18 and I don't know. Oh, you're budding it up. Another more copyright issues. Heaven knows there haven't been enough of that. Ooh, just gonna get some scenery of the town. Don't you know that Can I look around? Nope. It's a cutscene. Weird, weird popping going on there. Four dollar gas. about what it is now I suppose everybody listens to very mellow music in this game it's like very 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 mellow it's very unnecessary for this bus to have dual axles in the back as well Surprised this didn't turn into one of those what is it beats uh, NFL ad. All right, well, there's the whale's tail thing. There's a photo for that. Try to be a little bit better about these photographs. I probably won't get them all. Have to go back and, and look. But. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I don't want to go that way. Nope, I don't want to go there. I'm trying to get my picture lined up. Oh, you're, you're up. All right. Let's check the journal again. Dog bone thing, so I'll give you the next one to look out for. Let's see what's going on here. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Alright, just get my own thing, I guess, here. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Cool. All right, uh, fisherman. It's fine. Weird lady. I want to speak to a weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Are you Canadian or something? Can I change the jukebox? Maybe. Oh uh, yeah, guitar tune. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, let's. I always like to sit. Seriously, I'd take this booth. I'd sit against the the wall. Somebody can sit, can sit next to me. Still pretty country westerny sounding. And there she is, a lovely young woman. 
How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. <laughs> no, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. <laughs>